Hey, it's Heather K. Today's video is going to be about one of my channels on Heather K's channel. It is called Baby Vegan. I want to give a, a vegan update. I put it out. I'm part of a group in Halifax, Nova Scotia called Vegetarians and Vegans. And I put it out there because there's a, there's a lot of confusion on whether or not you can call yourself a vegan. And I've uh, been transitioning for, gosh, well over a year now. And a lot of people, I put it out there and I got their honest feedback. And the overall answer is that you're either a vegan or you're not. It's almost like a light switch that's either on or off. So, so I get it. So I said, okay, well, I'm not going to call myself a vegan because I still um, am not 100% there. I am practicing to be a vegan and the, probably the number one thing that stands in my way is that I don't know how to cook and I do enjoy a lot of uh, vegan meals. I can't share you what I'm eating because uh, most people have to have re recipes that are tasty for uh, you and for me. <laughs> so I'm still... Um, trying to fill my cupboard with a lot of beans and legumes and um, I'm learning how to cook them. Uh, one of my biggest hurdles within the last year um, and this year 2018 was that these videos make them so simple and I'm not sure if it's like minute rice and long grain rice uh, when you buy um, lentils for example. They, these videos are saying cook them for 15 to 20 minutes. I cook them, I baked, not baked them, but I boiled them for like an hour and a half and they're still hard uh, when you eat them. So I think what you need to do is soak them overnight and then cook them. And in the videos, um, when they, they give you the products they use, you got to realize there's a difference between uh, Canada and the United States. So, so anyway, getting back to whether I'm vegan or not, I am not a vegan. I can't call myself a vegan because I'm not 100% there. And uh, there's, um, it's, it's almost like I offended everybody, including my family and friends and a lot of people I don't know. So I said, okay, well, I'm not going to call myself vegan. I, I do like the term baby vegan and I'm not getting rid of my channel because that's just nothing I'm going to be doing because I'm allowed to learn and transition into being vegan and I'm allowed to change my mind if I don't want to be vegan. But overall, my heart is vegan and it's taken a lot for me to just get there. And for the most part, it's like um, buying the alternatives, completely changing what you have in your cupboard. You got to realize that support isn't um, going to happen overnight with your family and friends. And that was probably the number one thing I did at the end of 2018 here is I started to let my family know. And, and that's the best piece of advice I, I had on the, the site uh, was to educate my family and friends that I enjoyed vegan food. And, and uh, I will... Um, if they have me over for supper and they have chicken, I will eat it because I'm very blessed that somebody is cooking a meal for me and uh, I don't push my way on them. And I, I guess the only other way around that is to have uh, bring your food with you. And uh, 2019, what it's going to involve for me is a whole lot of planning. And I'm not sure where I'm going to end up, but I've been baby vegan for over a year now and the journey has been really great. I learned that um, I can cook my own food, even though uh, sometimes it's not the best. Um, I don't force myself to eat it because I'm no longer a garbage can. I mentioned that in some of my videos. So, but like I said, I'm sorry for pissing everybody off. Uh, all those people, I, I left the comments there. I didn't delete them and run away the other way, which is what I felt like doing. And so you're either vegan or you're not is what the vegans are saying. And so you can't call yourself vegan unless you're 100%. And I'm thinking, well, I'm allowed to transition and discover and make a journey. As long as you try to make as many right choices as possible, you can call yourself whatever you want to call yourself. So I do enjoy vegan meals and I do enjoy when someone cooks for me. And uh, so that's just something that's just where I was brought up. So if you don't like what somebody's cooking, don't go to their house for supper or you take your own food. So there are still more choices. There's still a lot more education that's involved. And then education is not me teaching you. It's me teaching myself. So that's about it. So that's the baby vegan update for 2018. Let's see how 2019 goes. Just just around the corner.